I want to tell you the story of a boy whose name was Chaim. Chaim didn't succeed in learning. Chaim came from a difficult background. He was orphaned at a young age. And one day, his mother decides it's enough. This kid's got too much ADD. They didn't have ADD back then, diagnosis, classifications, goes back a long time ago. She's, she's not. He's not succeeding. What's the point? I'm pulling him out of yeshiva. I need help supporting the family. So she's en route to the yeshiva to pull out Chaim when she encounters none other than the Chevroner Rosh Yeshiva's Rebetzin. So she's a widow, Chaim's mother, and she says, where are you going on this beautiful day? Because I'm going to pick up Chaim from school. Oi, it's the middle of school. Is he sick? Did something happen? Did he get hurt? No, no, no. Baruch Hashem, he's fine. So why are you taking him out of school in the middle of the day? Oh, he's had it with school. It's enough. Time for him to go to work and support the family. He's just not succeeding. He can't become a Tamil Chacham. There's no point. It's futile. And the Rebbeton says to her, No. No. We say in Kriya Shema every single day, These words, on the heart. Said the Rebetzin, that very often, the words, they sit on the heart. They don't go in the heart immediately. But if the kid hears the Torah, if the kid's in the right environment, eventually... The words penetrate and it's no longer Allah, it's Bil it's no longer on the heart. It goes into the heart. And the words become part of the person's nisham of the person's soul. And the person becomes transformed. She says, Don't give up on your chayamal. Allah now it's on his heart, but it will go inside, give it some more time. He could become great. And the mother was so taken. She says, okay. She left him in yeshiva. But Chaim knew that it was almost the end of his learning career. And the next day he decided, I'm going to try harder. I'm going to plug away. I'm going to cry. Hashem, open my heart. Open my mind. Open my soul. And he grew and grew and grew to the extent that he became a Talmud of Rav Chaim Shmulevitz, became a Talmud of Rav Lazer Yudel, and he was so exceptional that Rav Lazer Yudel said to him, you know, there's a boy that came from America, a boy that loves basketball, an athlete. I need help with him. I need a Rebbe for him that could guide him, that could encourage him, that could catapult him and make him great. Would you be his Rebbe? And Reb Chaim said, yeah. Reb Chaim became the Rebbe of none other than the greatest builder of Torah in the world. In the history of the world. None other than Rav Nassim Svi Finkel who built the empire of the Mir Yeshiva thousands and thousands of students despite putting up with the worst health conditions. Could you imagine had Chaim's mother taken him out of yeshiva? Perhaps we would have never seen Irv Nassim Svi. Maybe he would have been on the basketball court but not the Rosh Yeshiva. He attributed all his Hatzlacha to his Rebbe Reb Chaim. HaKot Sofoy, says Rebbe Kiva. Look at me. You think everything's determined? HaRushus Nesuna. It's up to you. What will you make of your life? Will you convert a difficult life circumstance into an opportunity for greatness?